How the heck are you? I hope life is treating you lovely today. I hope the sun is shining on you wherever you're at. It's definitely shining on me because it's quite warm here in Tel Aviv. Starting to sweat a little bit, but uh, I was walking down the street and I had this crazy powerful thought. So let's get into it. The thought that I had was, I'm gonna st say the statement then I will clarify. Here is the statement that given its own natural proclivities or tendencies, the mind will either vilify or idolize just about everything, including people, places, and of course, physical items, emotionals, you know, emotions even can be vilified or idolized. This is a bad emotion. This is a good thing. This is a bad person or a good person or a good place or a bad place. And so what I found myself doing was, holy shit, I'm always categorizing these things into one or the other. And I thought to myself, this is a huge mistake. I shouldn't be making this mistake. I'm probably a little too smart for this. And I wanted to stop and share this idea with you in case perhaps and maybe you're going around without even consciously doing it, vilifying and idolizing every aspect of your life and permitting yourself to categorize with certainty the good or the bad of the things and people and places, etc., around you. And I thought to myself, man, you have, to, you have to share this message because no, the fact is, first and foremost, everything should not be idealized or villainized. That's just silly. And things are not always as clear and clean cut and black and white as good or bad. So give yourself and here, I suppose, is the challenge. I would like for you to try not to categorize everything. And this is a challenge that I'm going to make for myself. This is for myself. I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to me. Because I, I don't want to categorize everything damn near automatically and let my mind immediately does what it naturally does. Good, bad, black, white clean cut, when very, very few things exist in the world like that. Everything is kind of gray or in the middle. And it just depends who you are, meaning your life experiences, your belief systems, and what you've been taught. All of us operate under this system and that we immediately come to these decisions because we let our mind let us. So my challenge for you today is not to categorize as many things as you can, as good or bad, or nice, shady, quality, low quality, etc. And give everything its complete contrast. No, no, no. Give yourself permission to be curious and analyze deeply all of the things, perhaps places, people, etc. And give, the, give them their freedom to work their way through logical, conscious pondering into the right place. And you'll probably find very few things fall so far to the right or so far to the left and in this extreme world perhaps a little bit of questioning and de -autom automation right de automation of the mind's processes and proclivities to naturally do this we'll be stronger and we'll be better for it so good luck to you and have a great day subscribe to the channel hit thumbs up leave a comment let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next video